Hello everyone, welcome to today's study. I'm delighted, I'm glad that you are joining me to this important study where we are focusing on what is salvation. We have looked at salvation as redemption, as deliverance, and today's focus is what is salvation and we are going to discuss salvation as being born again what what does it mean to be born again that phrase is used once in the bible and particularly it is jesus who used that phrase to be born again in the book of john chapter 3 uh, verses 1 all the way to 10 uh, we see Jesus using the, the terminology for the first time to be born again. So to be born again means uh, to be transformed from inside out. And this comes as a result of your spirit being meant, being reconciled from Adamic nature to the new Adam. New Adam is Christ Jesus. So, being born again means you have been given new life in Christ Jesus. And this new life comes as a result of you getting knowledge of your uh, state, of your sinful nature, and recognizing that uh, you cannot save yourself. And after recognizing that you cannot save yourself, you accept the Savior. You believe in the Savior, who is Christ Jesus. You believe in Him. That is in your heart. Once you believe, now you confess with your mouth uh, that uh, He is the Lord and the Savior of your life. And through that now, you receive new life. That is when we say, you are born again. Right then, that moment when you confess after believing with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and the Savior and that he died for you. And God the Father resurrected him. And as I'm speaking to you right now, he is seated at the throne of God. So who need to be born again? Who need this new life? Every person who is born of a human requires salvation. Because we are born sinners, we are born dead. We are born dead to sin. So, all of us, every human being is born dead in terms of relationship with God. The scripture says in the book of Romans chapter 5 verses 8 that while we are still dead in our transgression, Christ died for us. So, everybody requires new life in Christ. Provided you are a human you are born separated. You are born far away from God. And you cannot assess God, the Father, by your own means. That is why now we need this new life. And that is why we use the terminology being born again. Because your old nature is taken away. And you are given new nature through Christ Jesus. So there is what is called divine exchange, which takes place when you receive Christ. Your spirit is given divine exchange, whereby now the old nature is taken away and you are given new life by God through his son Jesus Christ. And the spirit of the living God come to dwell inside of you. Your carnality is taken away and you are given newness in Christ. You are transformed. Your spirit is transformed. And now you are able to please God. Remember God is the spirit. So, being born again has to do with being born of water and the spirit, the spirit of God. God is spirit and our spirit is the one which is born again so that it can, it can connect to God who is the spirit. So my prayer to us is that we are going to realize that all of us we require new life. We require to be transformed. We require to be given this life through faith in Jesus Christ, who is the author of life. Christ Jesus is the author of life. He is the author of our salvation. And once we receive him, 
we are given this new life and it is required for each and every one of us without this life in Christ Jesus then you cannot be able to assess God the Father you cannot be able to relate with him so my prayer to you right now wherever you are if you have not decided to come to the knowledge of him who loves you who cares for you and who died for you make up your mind right now and come to him and you will be born again you will be given new life you will be given new spirit you will be given power and you will be given access to commune with your father who loves you so much that when you are dead in your sins christ died for us so do not delay uh right now uh make up your mind to live in him because he loves you he cares for you he is calling you to come home and once you come home he is going to overcome you and dine with you. So the Lord bless you as he convict you of your sin, as he convict you of your of the judgment, and as he convict you of his righteousness through the power of the Holy Spirit. So the Lord bless you and keep you. Remember, you can connect with me and study other areas on salvation and the other aspects of the kingdom of God so that God may build us together. Remember also to share this message with the other saints so that you can build one another through the knowledge which God has revealed to us through the Holy Scriptures as we continue discovering the truth which is found in the Word of God. Thank you so much for taking your time to learn with us. Remember also to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any single video as we keep on sharing the truth which is found in the Word of God. Bye-bye. See you in the next presentation as we keep on learning about salvation. In Jesus' name, you are a blessed of the Lord. Shalom. Peace be with you. Amen. Hello, my fellow.